Hey Cancer, how's it going? How are you guys doing? If this is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel, what is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. Definitely a great message to say the least for you guys for the second half of April, the 16th to the 30th. So with that, let's get started. We start off with your Oracle card. So it says surrender. I can release my need to control. So whatever you got, guys got going on the second half of April, I feel like the need to let go of things is definitely on top of priority. This could be a person, this could be a place, this could be a thing. Whatever has kept you stuck, whatever has kept you from moving forward, whatever has kept you, you know, not at your fullest potential, I feel like that is where this message is going for cancer. Um, because I feel like a lot is coming through for you guys, for sure. A lot of different things are going to be happening for you guys, and I feel like you need to get on board with it. So with that... Your reading overall is really good. Definitely a message for somebody. Um, I feel like the overall message for Cancer for the second half of April is that you guys really need to take control. Um, you really need to take action. You guys have been missing out on a lot of things lately because you're not taking the action and steps you need to move yourself forward. Or for, forward. <laughs> um I feel like you have to really start appreciating and appreciating what you guys have. I know that sometimes we get caught up in the, well, if only I had this or only if I had that, I'd be happier instead of already being grateful for the little things that we do have, like food and water and, you know, a roof over your head. I feel like we take those things for granted and we worry about more of what we don't have. And I feel like with cancer for the second half of April, you guys really need to just be a little bit more grateful for the things that are around in your environment. Um, Five of Water is also talking about being grateful. It's also talking about you really needing to tighten your belt, you know. If you've been wanting to work on a dream, if you've been wanting to work on a goal, and, and maybe you have started working on that goal, but you're not 100% all in, I feel like that is what cancer needs to do is be 100% committed to something and, and move into it. And get it started and stay with it um, because a lot of us do that, especially with weight loss journeys. A lot of us start off a weight loss journey all strong and then by the middle of it, we're kind of like a little lenient and then we fall off the wagon, right? I feel like cancer don't fall off the wagon for the second half of April or yeah, second half of April. I almost said March. Whatever you are trying to grow or, or build up, I feel like that is the, the message for you guys. I feel like some of you could be dealing with a lot of hangovers. And that's kind of funny because I've never actually had a card that just pops out like that. But that's kind of the message. Like, you're going to be going up. You're, you're going to be having fun with your friends, which there's no problem with that. But just be careful how much you're over drinking because um, hangovers suck. And they're just, you know, they can, they can be avoided. Some of you could be losing a job. Um in the second half of April, but I feel like losing this job is just going to put you into something better. So try not to stress to worry about that. Um, I do sense that something new is coming towards you guys. There's a falling, oh my gosh, there's a falling apart of a relationship too. So I feel like a relationship could be falling apart for the second half of April. But remember that whatever God and spirit take away from you, they're going to bring back for you. I feel like during this time, you just got to keep moving forward. We have the messenger of water. You have to keep moving forward. Keep your head up. Keep grounded. Keep focused. Keep loving yourself. You know, that's the most important message of all is that you need to be at a time where you can't be looking for love anywhere else until you value it and love yourself, Cancer. There's no reason for you guys to fear. You know, go head on with your decisions, choices that you come across I feel like this is such an important time for you guys to really reach out for what you want as well. We have the king of water. So reach out. This is your time to shine. This is your time to, you know, build what you want. What have you been working so hard for these last couple months, camper, camper, <laughs> cancer? Um, stay clear of drama. Stay clear of gossip. Stay clear of anyone who doesn't have a plan. I feel like if you're surrounding yourself with people who don't have a plan, you're going to fall into that trap. I feel like you need to surround yourself with positive people. Um, 
just positive atmosphere so you don't get sucked into the the negative nancy's i guess it would be you gotta be your own light right now in a fire you have to have your own power you have to have your own mindset You can move through this. You can move forward. You can find your light again. If it's been dark and clouded for a while, Ada Fire is saying, you know what? I'm here to show you. You can find your light again, Cancer. I'm here to show you that you do have a worth. You do have a purpose to be here. You do have a passion. Queen of Fire, what is your passion? What is it that you've been trying to manifest? What is it that you want to create? Right? This is a time to be fearless. Time to set some healthy boundaries. Queen of Air. Stop thinking bad things all the time. Re revamp how your mind thinks. You don't have to be negative Nancy. You can be happy. You can be positive. You can look forward. You're going to have a tower moment, Cancer. But this tower moment's going to shake things up. It's going to put you where put you in the right direction. It's a change. With that tower moment comes change. Change is good. Change is necessary. Justice. What what goes around comes around. Leave leave the unwanted shit to karma. Let karma deal with it. You guys are growing too. It's 2019. End of story. If people are doing you wrong, if people are talking shit, if people don't have your back, if people, whatever their circumstances is, leave it to karma. Let karma handle them because you're too strong to deal with all of that. You have too much going for you to allow that back into your life. We have the imprints. Pregnancy is in the air. Some of you could be finding out you're pregnant. This is also you becoming a whole new version of yourself, a whole new version of not giving a shit. This is your start to something. Whatever you've been manifesting, whatever you've been creating, that's a, that's the new start that you've been waiting for. Hi, Pisces. Your intuition, secrets, dreams. Pay close attention the second half of April, guys. All right? So... Postcard from Spirits for you guys to end this reading. First one says this. Dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order, and we are always in all of this. For you, though, on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter. Whatever it's been too many, or sorry, whenever it's be too many stories in your mind, too many what lifts or fearful thoughts of the past or future, Instead, focus on the now, empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern what you have, sort, sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have a space to feel with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go, of what, let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of disruptions. You are so adored by so many. We hope you really know that. So that was the first one that came up for you guys. Second one, Cancer says this. Dearest you, we, on, we here on the other side have one important thing to declare. Love is the answer to literally everything. We don't necessarily need romantic or erotic love, although they are wonderful, but something above and beyond that. Everything alive in the world was first created by love. Spirit sends love to inanimate life and birth. It birth it into existence. Love is without conditions and it is based in reverence and a fierce and joyful respect for life. Love thrives when you focus on it and we want you to turn away from anything that causes its vain. Love is when you no longer see yourself as other separate form, better or less than, etc. When you act as love, you give permission to the world to thrive and grow as it will. Can you let go of what is not love and ask, what would love do? Love is waiting for you, always and forever. We just adore you over here. Beautiful. All right, Cancer, that is the message that I have for you guys. Keep moving forward. You know, keep looking ahead. Keep Take some action, you know. Set some healthy boundaries because you guys are growing. You guys are evolving, right? All right, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know how it resonates. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, know that I'm sending you guys all love and light cancer, and I will see you day first. Take care.